Hi guys, it's Judith from the Intuitive Body Foodie Network and today we're doing an all-natural pain relief for your pet. So you're probably familiar with Gypsy and Buffy by now, my two cats, and Buffy has something going on with her back teeth or her gums or something. We started to notice it prior to COVID and then COVID hit and then we had post-COVID and then we had post post COVID. I don't know where we are anymore. So you're going to need two ingredients. That's it. Butter or ghee. Don't use ghee made from vegetable oil. Use ghee that is made from butter. And the idea is you're going to get a little sauce pot and you're going to take two tea bags. That's your tea bag. I've cut the little thing off this one already. The tag. You know what I'm talking about, right? The stringy thing. And what I did is I put two in this pot, I used a blend of Mary's butter. I used a very small dose of Mary's butter. If you're not familiar with Mary's butter, I'll leave a link somewhere, probably in the description box below. It's basically a can of butter. And yes, your pets can have some as long as it's in micro, micro doses. You want to make certain that you attract your pet especially if it's a dog or a cat with valerian because cats and dogs just naturally know to receive valerian tea just the way that you and I would make tea you make a strong brew and then dilute it with cool water so that it's room temperature for them and let them drink that and that's one way if you need to get some sort of pain relief into your pet without the use of butter the thing is both of my cats are seniors and you know, I don't know how much longer, honestly, they have to live. Do any of us, right, know how long we're going to live? While both of the cats are here, it's important that we do what we can to accommodate pain, aches, lack of mobility. I'm starting to see the progression more and more as my cats get older. So for someone like Buffy, she's still pretty active in spite of the fact that she's in a lot of pain and she's not really a big eater and the more pain she's in, the less she eats. And that's where the butter comes in. This is how much I made. So that's what, a half a cup. I put a tablespoon of raw butter, about a quarter of a teaspoon of, about a quarter of the teaspoon of the Mary's butter and the rest with ghee that I made myself from butter. And then I just warmed it. It was so simple. And what do you do with the tea bags? Well, you can use them again, uh, depending on how much you make, I guess, and how many tea bags. Uh, this is a pretty strong dose because she's in a lot of pain. So I like to do what I call tinctures. I make a strong dose and then I'll take a teaspoon of this or a couple drops of this and add it to a teaspoon of raw butter. Let that sort of blend together and then that's what I'll feed her. This is a concentrated dose, but she's getting a smaller dose. So in a sauce pot, you wanna add your butter, your ghee and your Mary's butter and add your two tea bags and then put this on the stove. The tea bag broke, so I have to strain it. Okay. I called you up. And that's it. And then just, I leave it on the counter because it keeps it at room temperature and it's ghee, so it's safe to be on the counter. And then it's always at a liquid state and ready to serve. 